Hello there, everybody. Below 10,000 here, bringing you day 37 of my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Classic Mode playthrough. And before we get to Ike's playthrough, I just want to give a quick announcement. I am doing a giveaway for three different copies of the Switch game. Hollow Knight. If you are interested and you want to enter a giveaway to win one of the copies, check the link in the description below for a link to the giveaway. You can get a good amount of entries, seven or eight of them, and the winners will be selected on the 1st of February. Hollow Knight, brilliant game. One of my favorite games on the Switch. One of the best indie games of this generation. I would really recommend checking that giveaway out if you don't own it already. Anyway, on to Smash Brothers Day 37. Ike, the Black Clad Warriors. I'm gonna assume, looking at this roster right now, we're gonna get maybe some Dark Samus, maybe a Dark Link, maybe Meta Knight, maybe a few alt characters with dark color schemes, maybe even Bayonetta. I don't know, but I'm interested to see where this goes. So, apologies that I didn't post a Smash Ultimate video yesterday, but I was uh, kind of hoping people would watch my Hyper Light Drifter video, and, well, that didn't really happen. And we got Meta Knight and Dark Kirby, okay. Oh, yes, let's just, let's just, let's just knock these guys out with my, uh... With my super powerful smash attacks that just completely destroy everything. Okay, so Ike feels a lot slower than I remember him being. Like, wow, okay. All, already, just that with movement. He is, he is a very heavy character. And I am very glad that Chrom is not an Ike Echo, because if Chrom had that speed, I would be very miserable. Okay, so we've got Morton, Greninja, and Sonic, of course. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so this is definitely going for, like, dark-colored alt characters. Oh, it's the Black Knight music from, um, uh, from Sonic and the Black Knight. I know this. Is that the is that the ref this the entire reference that this uh, this fight is going for? Because that is great if it is. Ah. Oh. For those of you that don't know, I actually uh, when I was younger completed Sonic and the Black Knight, and I actually really liked that game. I'm one of the few people that actually did like it, but I I enjoyed it nevertheless. It's a really solid game. If you ignore you know the the whole on rails action portion. Come on, just get closer to me. Come on. Or I'll knock you out instead. If you don't want to come closer to me, I'll come closer to you. I'll knock you out of the stage and I will win and it'll be great. It's okay. Where's Dark Link? We're gonna fight- we're gonna probably fight all three Links in their Dark costumes, no doubt. Well, it's Dark Pit, you know, okay, but yeah. Could have had Pit in his Dark uh, alt color as well. That would have been cool. Just to kind of give it a bit more diversity, because we've already- we've done uh, so many group fights now. I'm kind of like a single fight, especially just Dark Pit. Actually, for me, is actually a little bit disappointing. Oh, hello. Oh, it's an instant win, is it? Oh, wow, it's crazy. Come on, down here. Down here. There we go. Damn! Ike has some real strength behind him. That is real, because I like using smash attacks in classic mode, because it's just the quickest way to get rid of a lot of your enemies. And for a casual like me, they're just fun to use. So, oh, it's so satisfying. All right, Bayonetta. Da, da, da. Let's go. Ready, go. Oh, it's this music. Okay. I'd like to say this was a... a... Oh, no. Oh, she witch-timed me. I'd like to say this was the music that plays either during the Umbra Clock Tower sequence in the start of the original Bayonetta, or it's the fi not the final boss theme, but the Boulder boss theme. I can't remember. Could be both of them, to be honest. Wouldn't be surprised. I just need to hit her. I just need to hit her. Damn, she's really doing the whole- taking the whole- dodge thing pretty damn seriously. Oh my god. This is like a- this is like if Bayonetta was fighting like she actually does in her games. Like, she was clearly going for the dodges, she was going for the combos, she was probably gonna use a torture attack on me, you know, all that fun stuff. Mr. Game & Watch, hello, of course. Oh, a big Mr. Game & Watch, that's actually terrifying. Ow. That's kinda painful, Mr. Game & Watch. Not gonna lie. There we go. Get get off the get off the stage first. Well, if you're not going to use the bomber, oh no, oh no. 
only problem with you, Mr. Big Game and Watch, is that you are, well, heavy, as as kind of shown there, which means you take a bit of time to kill. What did I just pull out? I don't think I actually saw what I pulled out. Oh no, oh no. Nope, nope, oh! That was my fault. Mistakes were made. I'm using a ticket. I'm gonna use my ticket because I think I can still do pretty well. Even now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I think I can do pretty well. Instantly misses next attack. Great. Please leave the stage. Please just leave the stage. Stage left. Oh, can I get that Smash Ball? That would be nice. If I could, like, finish Game & Watch with uh, with Ike's uh, Aoife, that would be fun. No! I thought, I thought Ike's was a dash forward Final Smash, not, um... Not a, a swipe up sort of smash. I thought it was like maybe like a Robins or Croms where, you know, you would, you would dash forwards and you would try and hit him. Okay, so I guess I was wrong there. I don't think we're going to get a very good, maybe a 0 0.5, 0 0.3. I guess, you know, it's the best I can, ha uh, I can hope for. Okay, here's our Dark Link. Weirdly enough, no Young Link that's Dark Link. I, I feel like they always leave Young Link out. Ready? And I feel like that's a little bit offensive. Goddamn Hyrule Castle outside. What, what an amazing theme. I mean, I'm just loving this music right now, I've got to say. Oh, there it is. Took you long enough. It, it took it way too long to get that music off. My god. Uh-oh. Oh, here comes Bulbin. Ow! Oh, I just jumped into Bulbin and died. Okay, great. Okay, well, I'm spending gold now. We're not getting that 9.9. .9. It's not- Oh, wow. It's not happening. It's never happening. The dream is dead. Well, now that the dream- Oh, right. I forgot the neutral bee's fun. The neutral bee is like a- Easy- Easy killings. There we go. Because it hits- It hits these enemies, at least, from both sides, which is really nice. Oh, no! I'm alive. I'm okay. Oh, uh, why couldn't you have respawned after? That would have been hilarious. If you got caught underneath the bridge as it respawned, that would have been beautiful. That would have been iconic. For lack of a better term. 8.1, I'll take it. Uh, gonna skip the bonus game because, quite frankly, I just don't care. Does, any does anyone actually want me to try and do good in this bonus game? Like, may maybe I'll try with Lucas because he's my main, but, like, aside from that, nah. Plus, I need to practice for when I inevitably have to do this with King K. Rule, and I've got to do it in 45 seconds. Which isn't going to be too difficult, because King K. Rule actually moves quite fast. But, you know, even so. Pew! Complete! Complete. Beautiful! You did it! And Miles Town and Crazy Hand. Okay, makes sense, you know. I'm surprised we didn't go against Dracula, because, you know, black-clad warriors, Dracula is dressed in, like, black and red, would have made sense, but okay. Oh, that guy can't be hit, because he's in the foreground. Okay, great. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, that move is the one that I cannot... The, the one where he spins you into the ground and you get injured, that's like the one move I would say from like this duo that I I don't think I've managed to dodge in any of my my many fights with these boys. Because it's just very ridiculous in, 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 what it, in what it expects from you. Oh nice, perfect. Oh, look at all that damage! Perfect. Okay, can you not? Can we 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 not? Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is 100%- Oh, no! Oh, mm, I was facing the wrong way, and you can't turn around when you do that. That's fun. Okay, 7.4. Great. We'll win, though. We'll, we'll win in this round. I don't think we're gonna- I don't go in SS- Oh, there's, the, there's that fun attack I really hate again. Oh, so much fun. I need to just- I said I'd do this before. Uh- <laughs> Last time I did this, I said, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just Google it and see the best way to beat these guys at the Gnar. There you go, get out of here. I feel like with Ike, it's probably the most doable because he just has such good strength to his attacks. 
Whereas if I have to fight these guys with Lucas, I'm gonna get freaking destroyed because Lucas is is very small, fragile boy. <laughs> All right, so where are we gonna end up? At least we're in the eights. I can be proud of that. All right. So I'll see you guys at the end of the credit sequence by pressing the plus button because I'm skipping it. Haha, <laughs> I keep forgetting that I'm skipping them now. Uh, and we'll see what uh, Ike's special picture is. So what is Ike's special picture going to be? I imagine it's going to be him standing with the other fire emblems. Or something along those lines. Or just a, a, a beauty shot. Oh, it's little Ike and Swall Ike. And they're like happy and next to each other at Ganon's castle as well. Okay. All right, nice. It's a nice little picture. I like that. I like that. Acknowledging both Ikes exist. So we get Machamp, because I already have Ikes Fighter Spirit, and we get Champion Road from uh, Mario Kart, okay. I think it's Mario Kart. No, it wouldn't be Mario Kart, it'd be normal Mario. Don't know which game it's from, though. All right, so thanks for watching today's episode of uh, Classic Man Playthroughs. Day 38, tomorrow I'll be taking on Pokemon Trainer, the future champion, so just keep that one in mind, and I hope uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, uh, there is a giveaway going on for Hollow Knight. Three copies of Hollow Knight will be given away on February 1st. So click down below and check the link for a chance to win yourself. And of course, if you haven't already, please consider checking out my Hyperlight Drifter video. It had 50... Uh, it's 50 minutes long, which is a big video, but it had four days worth of editing put into it. So I'm really proud of it and it will warm the cold, 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 icy, barren snowball that is my heart if you watched it. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.